Hi everyone. This is the uh, Diamond Select uh, Juggernaut. It's around seven inch tall action figure, and I customize uh, this figure to this. Okay, so this is the app customization, and um, I uh, create like a little wall, and uh, that he break through it. Um, actually, redo the whole pose and uh, the old one have like articulation this one have no articulation so it had to be very thick pole so let me show you what it looked like here and see on the back you see there now no more joint um, at all and uh, everything is uh, thick pole and uh, it had to stay in that particular pose all right so so the idea is you go like this um and right and from here the wall okay i will show you guys how uh, uh, this would make okay this is the uh, custom juggernaut and uh, it's based on a uh, diamond select um, action figure and um, I actually uh, you know glue them to make the pole I had to hold it because this is not a very stable pole so I cannot put it on the ground so I I, uh, I glue them together put glaze around it you know all the scope and uh, you know basically fill up all the joint you see that the elbow there are no more elbow right it just uh, clay fill them up and uh, the, uh, the pole is now static so eventually he's gonna be like somebody try to break the wall like this and um, I primed this with uh, uh, prime paint long long time ago so that's why you see it, it start to peel up and stuff and uh, start painting uh, dark brown on all the metal uh, like this so this is um, you see the back is like been put on the carpet and you get all kind of string here but it's okay and then there's a crack right here too uh, so it's been a while so I'm gonna restart the project and and here it is and uh, just start painting the, all the brow so uh, we'll show you guys when um, it's closer complete so just complete the painting of the action figure um, so like I said this static is uh, static now and all the joint is filled with uh, clay and um, you know I mean just a basic paint I'm going to maybe do like a dry brush or something like that to make it look uh, more realistic but anyway it's gonna be that and then now I'm start creating that the wall for him to uh, knock out okay so the wall um, make our foam uh, complete so now I just need to sand it down uh, this part is like blue, but it's okay. You know, I'm gonna paint over it, and here it is. Um, here the front, and this is the back. You know, it's not anything fancy, but just um, just make the character look a bit more dynamic than before. All right, so I'm gonna send it down. Hopefully, I don't break it <laughs> because they hold together by uh, hot glue. So, all right. Okay, so juggernaut break to the wall is complete. So I just paint this, uh, try to do some bright brush, and you know try to simulate the wall that you know broke. But uh, you know, but uh, yeah, come out okay. I mean, not the best, but uh, still look. Uh, he run and break the, the wall. So on the back is you know he like this. I put like a uh, sealer on it so he a little bit uh, kind of shiny but you know uh, yeah so here it is so juggernaut breaking to the wall and this is a custom pole um, and hopefully you know yeah it's a stable pole um, so yeah I like it so far <laughs>